I have two S24 Ultras. One left on the March software update, and the other one updated to April. Samsung have claimed to make some improvements. Today, we find out. Let's go. I've been sitting on the April update for a couple of weeks now, but according to Samsung, a portion of that update was to do with Expert Raw and was coming separate via an app update to Expert Raw itself. So based on your feedback, I decided to wait and just a couple of days ago, I got the Expert Raw update that is meant to improve the Expert Raw's capabilities. If you watched my last Expert Raw vs Auto Mode video, you'll know that it needed that update. That was just one of four areas of the S24 Ultra that Samsung have claimed to fix via the depths of the internet. Before I get to those though, I would like to sort of just compare standard side-by-side -side photos. Point and shoot, auto mode, see if there has been any processing differences. Because even though it wasn't specifically mentioned, it doesn't hurt to check. Why not? There wasn't many things to find. In most cases, it was identical. The, the photos were the same. But there were a few things that I found interesting. Let's go through them. The first thing I found is that between March and April, in some of the photos that I took, there was lighter shadows in April. This first example here of this tree that casting this big shadow, the April update was substantially lighter in the shadow area on the pavement versus what it was in the March update. And even in the detail of the tree, you can see a bit more in April versus what you could in March. And then this next one here, there's moving subjects, my daughter sort of running around. In April, the tree in the background has a sharper focus and detail on it versus what you can see in March. So there's some subtle improvements in that way with a couple of things that I noticed. I wanted to test the standard sort of zoom ranges, the five and the 10, and I did not notice a single iota of difference between the two. And the longer range stuff I'll get into in a moment because that is part of the update that Samsung mentioned, specifically when it comes to text and detail of things with text in it. Video from the main camera, the 4K30, literally the same not a single bit of difference not to notice and if there is it's probably just the margin of error of where the cameras were placed as i was filming where i noticed the difference though in video was at 10 times zoom there was this strange jittery unstable footage from the march update and then in april that was gone there was no evidence of that whatsoever it was much smoother and much more stable so maybe they have fixed that or maybe there was just a random bug at the time of taking the video but side by side, you can see the clear difference. Let's go through the things that Samsung highlighted with a fine tooth comb and put their claims to the test. The first one is to do with low light photos. Samsung have said they've improved the tone of a low light photo, which I found interesting to be using that specific word. And I went out and I took some low light photos, both indoors and outdoors. Indoors, I couldn't really notice much. I tried both night mode and auto mode and because obviously it turns on night mode. And yeah, there was pretty much next to no difference. If you if you can notice one, please let me know in the comments. But in my quick review of it, I couldn't find anything. So I headed outside and I tried a couple of different scenarios. The first one was taking photos of like buildings over from a bridge with sort of a bit more of a blue lighting, I guess you could say. I tried to avoid the street lighting. And again, I didn't really notice too much of a difference between the two updates. Again, let me know if you've noticed something. Where I did notice something immediately though was the tone of these bricks. Now, this was under harsh yellow street lighting. And with the March update, it turned that up far too much. I really dislike street lighting. I think it's too yellow and it makes a photo look bad. And your natural eyes don't perceive it that yellow in real life. So I was really pleased to see that the April update toned that down properly and gave it a more fairer representation of what it was that I was looking at. So I think that's what Samsung have meant by the tone of low light photos. They aren't making it as harsh and it definitely looks a bit more natural and much better in my opinion. So that was the main difference that I found in the low light situation is that the tone has been reproduced. Expert Raw was the next part and probably in my opinion, the main thing that needed fixing from a camera standpoint. I took a lot of photos between March and April with Expert Raw. And the main thing I noticed was that a better tone in the sky. Samsung said they've adjusted the balance of colors in Expert Raw. And there is an evidence of that definitely between March and April. Taking lots of Expert Raw photos just on their own, not comparing it to March, I noticed a massive difference in the quality that was being output. I went to the beach today down at Burley, best spot in the world, just quietly. And you can definitely see where Expert Raw is sort of picking up versus what it was doing in the last test that I did. The highlights control is much better. The HDR and dynamic range, definitely far better. So I think Samsung have tweaked Expert Raw a lot more via the software update and the app update in the Galaxy Store. 
So if you're waiting on both of those, just know that that does fix a lot of what was wrong with Expert Raw by the last update. You can see it in a lot of the photos that I've taken, the difference in what it was versus what it is. And even if you go back and watch my Expert Raw versus Auto Mode, I've managed to try and do the same type of test again. Not a lot, but some. And yeah, it's definitely a lot, lot better. And I can now say that Expert Raw is probably the better processing versus Auto. The other thing though that wasn't in the release notes is that Expert Raw has gained the ability to do lossless Raw. Now I looked this up as to what this was because to my knowledge, Raw is Raw, but I couldn't be more wrong. I kind of knew there were different variations and I know that Expert Raw has sort of been toying around with Raw and people aren't happy. So I like that Samsung has added this toggle in because basically what lossless Raw is is that it's like a zip file. So if you zip a whole bunch of stuff into a zip folder, it compresses them, but it doesn't degrade their quality or their data. Lossless Raw is the same, where it basically, again, takes all of the information and then like packages them into like a zip version of a DNG file, which means you're not losing any of the detail and the information. It's just been packaged up to save storage space. I'm gonna talk and demonstrate this a lot more in my how to use expert raw video. So make sure you subscribe because that one's coming very soon. But I just thought I'd briefly explain what it is because it definitely does add some extra information to your DNG copy of your raw photo. Samsung also said there was some increased clarity when zooming in on text. I don't think I really noticed this. I took a lot of zoom photos of just random signs, which just feels so weird to take photos of, but you gotta do it sometimes, you know? And what I noticed was that it was the same. Samsung said that they fixed this in the March update, and they did. If you go back to watch my next, my last update battle video, you'll see that where Samsung have improved there. But I don't see the same level of improvement here. There was one photo where I noticed some sharper detail on the bricks when I'm taking photo of this Burley Pavilion sign. And you can see that the, the spot on the bricks looks a lot more natural versus what it does on the March update in the, in the April one. So I just don't know where Samsung have got this from because they're not really, from what I'm seeing, that improvement isn't really there. And the last one, which I'm finding really hard to demonstrate because I, I don't have low quality video, but Samsung have added support for instant slow-mo to 480 by 480 resolution. So this could be like a video you've downloaded from a WhatsApp chat or from a Facebook Messenger chat, basically just a lower quality video. And if it's saved your gallery, instant slow-mo will now support that resolution. That's the update. That's all it is. The rest of the update is described as saying that camera and gallery features have increased their stability. And without knowing specifically which ones, I'm not going to sit there and comb through the entire gallery because it, it's not worth doing. But for the most part, those were the updates that Samsung have told us about. So I just wanted to test them and show you what they meant by it. Like I said, subscribe because there is that expert raw walkthrough coming very, very shortly. Plus so much more to come. So you don't want to miss any of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell, and even while you're waiting for other videos, go watch what else I've got, because there's stacks there. Come follow me on all my socials. I've got Twitter slash X. I'm also on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Woo!